Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it has been a little bit of time since I did my last video and I do apologise, I have now moved house. We are slowly getting that settled in so hopefully I will be producing a few more videos going forward. And in this video I'm going to have a little look at the capital BPOs. Now since the last patch, the industrial patch, obviously a lot of people built uh, capital ships prior to the patch going live and this enabled them to be able to build the um, capital ships at a much lower price so therefore the general demand for capital components I would assume at the moment is down now I have got or had some BPOs here that were um, researching before the uh, capital or the industrial changes were announced so I've continued to research these and we'll take a look at these now. So as we can see here I've got the capital compulsion compulsion capital <laughs> propulsion engines um, researched and what else did we get we've got the capital construction parts um, they're the ones that have currently finished at the moment and I also have a few others which are so we have completed also capital corporate hangers, arrays, and the capital jump drives here. So I think, what, how many we got here? 10 in total, plus the others. So what I need to do now is get these back to jitter. Now I was asked an interesting question on one of the comments the other day, which I hadn't had time to respond to, so here's as good a time as any. And the question was, why do people keep buying capital components? Obviously, very few of them are destroyed all in all so why why isn't there um a massive oversupply of them why do you know how do people keep buying them or why do they keep buying them so for instance if i was building capitals why if i've decided to stop when i just sell the bpos a lot of people do and a lot of people just keep them because well as we know in eve there is no penalty for holding on to stuff for extended periods of time so if you don't know if you're going to be coming back to the game or you know, if you're just taking a little bit of a break, then a lot of people just keep them. And I imagine there's a lot of people that have just got, you know, hanger full, hangers full of um, BPOs that they basically don't use particularly often. But it's not always worth the hassle of selling them on. Again, I've got a lot of Tech 1 drones, missiles, etc. And again, I, I don't use them pretty much ever. But, you know, the hassle of selling them just isn't worth it. And again, you get to that point with capital BPOs as well. But once you've got such a huge amount of ISK, it's just not worth the hassle. And therefore, you might as well keep hold of them because you never know when you might need them, when changes all happen. And then all of a sudden, you know, you need um, the BPOs. So that's why there's always or has been a constant market for the um, BPOs. Uh, it's because basically there's no penalty for holding on to them for extended periods of time. Right, so let's get these delivered into the hangar. It's always a great feeling once you get these delivered and they're all fully researched. Now, let's see how many we've got here that need to be moved. We've got 32 at a base value of 42 billion ISK. So I'm going to have to split this up into several runs because I don't want to be um, transporting all this in a shuttle or something equally awful and get smart bombed on my way because that would be rather embarrassing i'm pretty sure so um leave it with me i'll be back very shortly once we've got these back to jitter so we are now back safe and sound in jitter which is a sigh of relief it's always a little daunting moving such a large quantity of isk in items in small ships through high sec so we've got 32 items in total i'm hoping to make roughly 200 million per bpo and um, let's see that gives us 6.4 billion isk give or take assuming or hoping that they sell at the current price that i'm expecting to get now this has generally been what I've, I've aimed for in the past and it's worked quite well but obviously with the changes to the capital market things have changed a little um and obviously with less people buying capitals at the moment and we can see this in the graph here just give us a second so if we take the Nidhogger, for instance, we can see here that there was quite a constant stream. And then since obviously the patch went live, it has been very, very sparse. So I would assume or expect that obviously less people are buying capitals and therefore less people are obviously producing them at the moment due to the fact that obviously to produce a capital now is around about six and a half billion isk for a carrier. 
and before the patch it was four point tip uh, sorry 2.4 i think i was making them at so quite a hefty difference there so with that i would have expected the demand for capital components to be down because obviously people aren't buying them because there's no point in making them at present however let's have a look here at my old sales so so let me find it. I have some capital armor BPOs that sold pretty much straight after the patch went live. Now, I can't quite recall when it was, but these basically went up just before or just after. So the 26th of the 4th, we sold capital armor plate, another capital armor plate, another capital armor plate, and one more. So we sold, what was that, four? And these were going for a decent price. So I was selling these at 1.8 billion isk each. So I was making roughly, I made 500 million isk on each of them. So 2 billion isk and then 4 um, plates alone. And we've got the shield one here. And again, the shield one sold as well. So we, we sold 5. Uh, we've got a capital ship maintenance. No, that was a copy. So yeah, we, we sold a good number and then I kind of... I have this problem that I kind of get bored of doing it or they, they go on and oddly enough I just had this pop up so we do have a capital armor plate here that expired and that's because the market basically moved so I was obviously in the process of selling this slightly less somebody had put one up for the same price that I was selling I sold the others and I dropped this one by a bit but the market moved and now the prices have changed somewhat so that's fine i basically just have to go with it and re-list at new prices so 1.65 billion isk uh they're currently you can buy them for 1.293 billion isk and obviously then you've got research on top which is about 20 to 50 million isk so 100 million isk so we're making Give or take, what, two, 250 million isk, which is pretty much where I'm looking at. Now, obviously, you can see the one here, which is a 1016, which is going for less. But obviously, mine is 1020, so I want to be positioning it just under this one. Now, as I said, it's going to be interesting to see how these sell um, now that the patch has come and gone. So let's, let's have a look at the others while we're here. Uh, capital construction plates now these are always in demand uh, because they pretty much go into all capitals um, but there's also a lot of people researching them so let's have a look so that's an 816 1018 let's have a look so we're at 1.7 billion isk fully researched no so 1.58 i'll get for that if i put that on there so 1.58 um i can't quite remember what these go for but i think it's relatively unreasonable oh dear, i can't spell construction that looks so um yeah these are joe prices so these are out so i'd have to check an external site however quite happy at that price that we'll be getting for these and next we've got the capital corporate hangar arrays not as many of these by the looks of it um again about 1.8 billion i can expect or hope to put these up for again whether these are actually selling at this price is unknown at the moment and i will do a follow-up video to this because again I don't know whether these are going to sell. These were already in research, so say, when the patch uh, was announced. So there wasn't much I could do at that time. Quite a decent markup if I can get it for these. Um, these obviously cost 1.6 million base, so quite a difference there. Um, and the capital proportion. 16, 20. Be nice if we could get somewhere around here. So yeah, so about 1.8 again. So decent amounts of um, is to be made. But again, as I said, it is dependent on whether these will actually sell at the moment. They will sell eventually, I have no doubt. But it's A, what I'm willing to sell them for. And B, you know, how quickly I can get rid of these. Um, 
in the past, the, the capital BPOs never sell particularly quickly if you're trying to get a decent amount of profit, but they do sell um, steady. Um, that's always been quite nice, but as I say, now that things have changed, I don't know whether that will be the case because obviously with the capital changes, uh, the new pricing in that less capitals are going to be used, less capitals are going to be lost. So therefore, what I would have normally have done at this point is <clears throat> I would have started buying up new BPOs ready to research. But as it currently stands, I'm not going to bother with this. I'm basically going to sell these, see how I get on and then decide after that whether it's worth doing another batch. Because um, obviously it's quite a big ISK investment and time. Now, the nice thing is, obviously, it's relatively passive. Once you put them in, you can kind of just leave them. Um, so, and again, it's a, it's a good way of tying up a decent amount of ISK um, and it working for you. But whether, so say, it, it, it all depends on how hard these are going to be to sell. So I thought, again, that would be a relatively interesting thing to follow up on. So I will do that in the coming months. Again, it depends how quickly they sell, but I will do sporadic updates, I guess, uh, sprinkled into the other videos that I will be doing. So uh, with that, I think we'll round up there. Thanks for uh, joining. Thanks for coming back. It's great to be back. Uh, I've missed you guys and I look forward to uh, cranking out some more videos for everybody. Any comments you've got, pop them in the uh, comments, please. Um, again, <laughs> it's been hard to uh, respond to a lot of them because I've not been here. Um, but I do appreciate everybody's comments, good or bad. Um, even the bad ones do give me a laugh. So uh, with that, thanks for your time, and I'll talk to you again later.